Also developing right now at noon, firefighters battling huge flames right now in Opelaka. Yeah, that fire broke out earlier today at a junkyard. Let's go now to local sense reporter Leanne Motohone. She's live right now at the scene. Crews are still trying to get this thing under control. Is that right? Well, it looks like they've gotten down to it. I'm going to step out of the way and show you Miami Dade Fire Rescue still on scene. They've been here since 930 this morning. Now all you can see besides the crews on scene is sort of that hazy smoke rising from those charred vehicles at this junkyard. But man, have they made progress since early this morning. Let's take you up above to Sky 10. This was the scene at 3380 Northwest 127th Street. Now, according to Miami Dade Fire Rescue, when their crews arrived, they found heavy black smoke and about 30 vehicles here at this junkyard unoccupied right next to a canal. They were all on fire. Another view now from the ground as our cameras arrived here on scene. We understand that according to Miami Dade Fire Rescue, they started to attack the fire, extending hoses about 100 feet just to reach that fire. We're told they were able to extinguish it by spraying water on all of those burning cars, as well as spraying foam across the canal. In fact, we have another angle to show you. This is video provided by Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, giving us a real up close look at some of the work that they were doing. Now we understand that once the fire was under control, they were able to, you know, continue to monitor for and prevent more flare ups from coming up and for that fire to spread. We understand that Durham, of course, that is responsible for uh, uh, environmental concerns. They've been notified because there have been leaks coming from these vehicles as a result of the fire. They're concerned about fuel leaking into that adjacent canal. Good news here, no injuries reported. We can take you back live as that firefight continues. They are actively spraying water onto that burning pile right now. But boy, what a difference from those real intense flames and smoke that we saw early this morning. Fire crews really had their work cut out for them. We're expecting to speak with the battalion chief in just a few moments. For now, we're live in Opalaka. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.